All right, so just a little while ago, I was going through this box of hunting items my uncle just gave me recently, and I came upon this hatchet, all right? It's not the fanciest of hatchets, but for my purposes and my uncle's purposes, use a hatchet like this in a hunting situation for myself personally, you know, a few times a year, all right? So we'll look at this hatchet right now. And it's a bit rusted, all right? But you know what? With a little bit of TLC, we can get this hatchet up and running again, all right? There's some ships on the edge. You know, this isn't A1 tool steel or anything fancy like that. You know, is it super dense? It's going to chip. But for the two or three times a year you want to use it, it should be sharp, all right? So I'll take you through a couple things that I do, all right, to turn this from all rusted to this. All right, let's get to it. So you don't need necessarily anything overly fancy, okay? So I got some 400 grit sandpaper. Now you could just muscle your way through this. Now it's making pretty good progress here. You don't have to do anything fancy, right? Just flip it over and just keep on going. And it's looking pretty good, as it is. I may not even need anything else. Just a little bit of elbow grease, all right? But you'll see over here, that there's some serious pitting. All right, so once you start going over the pitting, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. So let's take it on the angle grinder and put a wire brush on it. All right, so you don't need an angle grinder to get all the rust off. It's not necessary. All you need is some sandpaper, keep it on a cheap side. If you can't afford an angle grinder, with a brush, all right? But to speed things up, all you need to do is this. All right, so I'm at the stage right now where most of the rust has been sanded or ground off using the wire brush. So now I'm gonna be reprofiling this edge of this hatchet, okay? So this is a convex grind on this hatchet, so it's kind of a rounded edge right to the tip. So how I'm gonna be reprofiling this edge is with this mill bastard file, okay? So you'll see that there's grooves, really fine grooves that I'm gonna be using to reprofile this edge so on a normal knife, you'll notice that you'll have a flat grind, okay? So the bevel is flat. This particular knife is around 15 degree angle, and it's 15 degree angle all the way along. All right, but with this convex grind, okay? So what we're doing is taking a file and curving it all right because with an axe or a hatchet okay you want to make sure that the edge is supported by as much steel as possible because you'll be sliding down onto wood or whatever it may be and you want as much support for this edge as you can and you want to have as much steel as you can that's why having a convex grind on this is a necessity. So how I'm gonna achieve this is just rounding it as I grind it down here. All right, so once I've finished reprofiling the edge with this coarse mill bastard file, 
all right? I want to take a finer stone and add the same technique as I did previously, all right? So I'm just going to drag it along, constantly adjusting the angle, keeping the convex grind all the way down as best as I can without deviating. Now easier said than done, right? Just like this. Now it all depends how sharp you want to get this, all right? But if you're going to be doing it, you might as well do it the way you want it to. Now if you're starting to get your edge there, it's going to start making a little bit more of a sound of resistance. That's what you're kind of looking for. It's getting there. So now that we've finished sharpening the hatchet with this stone, okay, if you want to take it one step further, we'll take a finer grit ceramic stone and go for it. Now mind you, this isn't necessary, but if you're already here at this point, you might as well get crazy, right? <laughs> so we'll see if we can take it to the point of cutting paper and we'll see how this goes. All right, here's the finished product. Now let's see if we can test it on some paper here. Looks good to me for a hatchet.